when when they were doing core responses, I noticed just this morning when Kevin was was doing the video clip that we watched of him, and he would say everybody, and I just thought, oh, even that word mm -hmm. that 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 was the signal, like speak now, but it also was the reminder that it is everybody. Mm -hmm. It's a good suggestion. It is. It is. It's a good suggestion. That was one I had. So. Um. I wonder, do you ever use, like, do you ever break down, I'm assuming you break down vocab in different ways than it's just, uh, how do you choose what vocab words do you, and I guess this is where I'm asking a direct question, but how do you choose what vocab do you focus more, spend more time on, and what ones you just Right, go um, the one that you probably observed was the radius one mm -hmm. and trying to connect it to math, it great. but as we get into more terminology, like later in the lesson we'll talk about, um, we'll talk about ionization energy, so we'll break down what's an ion, and when, anytime you have that ization at the end, what's that mean? Sweet. And processing. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. But, you know, science is always, you know, what the root words mean and breaking mm -hmm. it down is. Um, so, yeah, so yeah. I try and make the connections, but um, anytime there's something, even from their prior knowledge, and I try and connect it to other subjects when I can too. Mm -hmm. so, but, yeah, good suggestion is to do more of that. Well, I, yeah, I'm just curious. I noticed that you're. And I just because my reading apprenticeship in, in my mind that I'm going through right now is building the culture of not knowing yet. And somebody had said that that was born to you, but I can tell you we're so intentional about that. And how do you, how do we keep building that, that it's a safe environment? In fact, it's encouraged, it's honored. So to one put of the a prediction. Things, one of the things, that's why I do the random seating. Kids hate it, by the way. Mm -hmm. They really hate not being able to sit with their friends. And if I'm not standing there, they will pick through the cards till they get the card where their friend is going to sit. Mm -hmm. So I have to really kind of watch them. But last year I had a great comment where they said, um, you know, I hated it at first, but now I feel so comfortable with everybody in class that yeah. it's, I'm, I will ask questions more now because mm -hmm. I'll... I can ask anybody a question, mm -hmm. so even though they hate it. May I run my locker real quick, please? Where's your locker? It's a great word. Okay, hurry. I don't know how many um, teachers are science teachers. I taught science at the elementary level, um, but I didn't learn how to teach science in my college experience. Right. Um, and I loved teaching it, but to walk into a chemistry class and to learn in a matter of maybe 15 minutes, what I've learned today just to me spoke to the way you delivered the instruction. Mm -hmm. Like I can walk away and understand, <laughs> you know, that progression you were talking about. And I thought, mm -hmm. if I can come into your room um, for 10 or 15 minutes and the students have been there every day, um, what type of learning is taking place? Thank you. If you were giving yourself cool feedback, what are some things that you notice or you want to? <laughs> um, that, that you really uh, challenging yourself. I want to make sure, sure that I call on all the tables, and I don't have a really good system for making sure that I've called on each each table. So I, I probably need a checklist or a, you know something like that where I'm making sure that I'm calling on a variety of people. And so your goal is that everybody. Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, I would like that to be mm -hmm. something that I do. 